Well, hey guys, it is your bunny Ryan here, and I just wanted to talk to you about why I have my sweet little rabbits um, housed in these cages and the reasons why I have set myself up this way. Now, if you look back on my channel, my most popular video so far is going to be my rabbitry tour, where I explain, you know, back when my rabbitry was getting started, why I was making some of the choices I made and showed off some of the features um, of this rabbitry. Now, there's been an overwhelmingly um, positive response from this video, um, but there have been a few negative comments that I wanted to take a minute to address um, because I do think that it's important that you see um, why I'm raising my rabbits the way I choose to raise them. And you can see these guys are not even the slightest bit afraid of me. Um, that's because I take the time to socialize each of my rabbits, okay? So um, as I have time, I come in and I pet them. I give them some treats from my hands. Um, and by treats, I mean wild harvested grasses, you know, not uh, rabbit bunny treats full of mangoes and crap that you'll get from the, you know, the pet store. And um, that stuff will actually make your rabbits obese and it's basically poison. Um, but, you know, more... Um, you know, fresh grasses. I, I grow these guys a lot of kale, um, you know, various lettuces. Um, I have a whole fodder system where they're being fed uh, elephant grass um, from my uh, field that I grow for them to eat as a fodder crop. Um, so uh, let, let's get right down to it, though. Um, the big thing I always get is, you know, why do you keep your rabbits in cages? Shouldn't they be running free? And I have to tell you, guy, uh, that's a really cute idea, and I really love it, um, especially if you're into your rabbits getting torn limb from limb by coyotes, bears, um, you know, raccoons, skunks, and all the other things I have in my area. So go right ahead. Uh, keep your rabbits outside like it's a, you know, a chicken or a cow or a, a dog or any other kind of farm animal, and, you know, watch your rabbitry fail. Um, you know, there are some people who... Uh, will raise rabbits in a warren system uh, where they've dug out a whole area and have, you know, hardware cloth pinning them in. And I do know a couple of people in my area who do that. And um, guess who's the guy who they call in the middle of winter when all the rabbits froze in our wind? Or uh, when a predator comes out in the middle of winter uh, when there's not a lot of game around? Um, they end up calling me and I've had to refill people's rabbitries with babies a few times, um, simply because my rabbits don't get eaten by predators. Why is that? Well, okay. Haters going to hate, but I keep my rabbits in a shed. Um, but not just any shed. I've made a ton of modifications on this guy to make their lifestyle more comfortable. Um, first of all, you can see not one, but two, three four, five, six large windows that gives these guys full ventilation. So in the middle of the summer, uh, because we have this nice shade here um, and we have open windows, um, it actually stays cooler in here than the outside. Most notably though, you can see that next to the rabbits, to the left and the right, because we get east and west winds, um, there's no window openings. And the reason for that is they are being shaded and protected under this barrier. Um, the great thing about this setup, too, is you can see I've got hardware cloth here, um, so that keeps out any predators. Um, I've taken great lengths to make sure my animals are safe. You can see I have, you know, this screwed down with actual uh, flat-headed screws all the way around. Nothing is getting in here. Um, then if it's a big storm, I can always close this guy up. So we've had many uh, storms over the past few years, big floods, things like that where I can have this closed and the rabbits are safe and sound. Usually when it's super cold, I'll just have this one window open because you don't want too much humidity to build up inside. Um, the other thing you guys got to know is take a look at what I got in here. I got fresh uh, alfalfa and orchid grass mix for them. And I have, you know, all kinds of organic pellet exclusively that I feed them. Um, <clears throat> and as I mentioned, uh, you know, these guys get sweet potato greens, kale, you know, spinach, various lettuces, elephant grass, wild orchard grasses from my orchard. I mean, you name it. These guys are just beyond spoiled. Um, of course, they have a KW cages system uh, with, you know, alfalfa and orchard grass hoppers. 
here and basically they have grass on demand anytime they want it day and night um, i tend to free feed them okay especially in the winter when they have the tendency to need a little bit more food um, so their food and water are always kept nice and stocked and fresh and of course they have this solar powered ventilation fan up top now, i know this is just a little like 12 volt probably panel and fan at the most maybe five volt is more likely um, but it actually does a really good job pulling the heat off from the hottest portion here, okay? Um, so these guys are kept nice and cool in the summer, nice and warm and toasty in the winter. Um, they have this little light here that I've added. It's just a basic solar panel powered light that charges up during the day so I can give these guys an extra two or three hours of light in the middle of summer, or I'm sorry, in the middle of winter when the hours get short. Um, so, you know, that's kind of why I've made some of these decisions. Um, you know, they get, you can see full view, you know, over the countryside. So um, this compared to just outside cages, um, they're doing really well. And, you know, as I mentioned, the KW cages, this is a really fantastic brand. Um, these cages are going to last me a lifetime. And, you know, what I do is a couple times a year, I just pull them out, you know, once we're low on rabbits and just pressure wash them, get them brand spanking new and clean, um, sweep this place out every day. Obviously, you can see I have a fly strip full of flies. That's because I'm catching flies, not letting them land on my rabbits. Um, so it's a fairly hygienic thing to do. Um, so overall, um, you, you know, you can see just mere feet from the rabbitry, I've got my garden here, so I bring them over fresh vegetables um, really, really frequently. Now, overall, guys, these guys have a really great life. I know you'd probably prefer to see them running around in the sunshine, um, but trust me, these guys get plenty of sun, and it's a lot better than being ripped limb from limb by all the coyotes and bears we have around here, okay? So I'm really happy with it. I'm going to keep raising rabbits. I'm going to keep eating my very cheap meat that also produces free fertilizer for me and uh you know feel free i mean if you have specific criticisms go ahead um but in terms of them it just being sad that i eat rabbits i'm not going to hear it because uh i really enjoy the taste of rabbit meat and it's healthier than chicken and if you're an animal lover like me uh, i'd be happy to know that I'm saving hundreds and hundreds of animals from factory farms. And I hope that in your life, you can choose to make some more eco-friendly and sustainable choices too. Um, with that, hope you have a great day. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to leave them down below. Smash that like button, smash that bell. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I know that's corny, but really, if you do like it and this kind of content on gardening, homestead stuff, things like that, uh, feel free uh, to hang around. I'll be posting more videos and eating more rabbit. Have a great day.